on something that is brand new. In fact, this is the very first airing, and I am really excited about this. You know, when I first got my, my golden retriever when she was a puppy, her name is Lily, um, I tried to do that, you know, the chain training where you pull the chain, it's around their neck. I remember how awful I felt about that when I did it. I, in fact, I just gave it up. I'm like, I can't do this to my pet. I felt like I was scaring or hurting her. Well, this is called Love to Pet No Pull, the dog leash. It is brand new, and it actually uh, utilizes the, the trunk of your dog around its around its uh, chest in the mid area, almost like a hug. So when you have to give uh, your, you know, restrain your dog, it's not yanking and it's not pulling. I've got uh, a couple of sizes. It comes in the small and it comes in the large. You won't have to pull or yank your pet ever again. It's what I call no stress training uh, and you're gonna absolutely love it. We've got a bunch of colors. We'll go through those in a sec, but just like uh, everything in the show, it is discounted. Um, it's free shipping and we put it on FlexPay as well. It's only $13.48 to get these home. Dawn Lad is here with Good us. Good morning. With Amelia. And Amelia. Amelia is here. Love Good morning Amelia. to you. We love our pets. We and sure if you want to give love to your pet you want to make sure that you're treating them humanely in yep. every aspect of their life and of course you have a leash at home but you need one that's safe and is humane for your dog and what we have found is that you don't want to put the pressure around the throat and the neck you want to displace it further back because think of the damage you can do up here and this is a very sensitive area so take a look at this leash it's a very strong nylon, very substantial. It feels very strong. It's got a nice sturdy hook. So it's nice and big and generous size so that if you have any dexterity issues or anything, it's easy to clip on. And all you do with this is clip it onto the, their lead, I mean to their collar, clip it on like that. And then you're gonna run it behind their front legs just like that. Mm -hmm. And then you just loop it through the little loop here. And then what you've got is you have a no-pull harness. This is designed by a famed animal behaviorist who has the science and the experience behind it. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to transfer that pressure and that energy away from their delicate throat and neck and put it back here where it's nice and strong. Just like when you pick your dog up and you yeah. hug them, right. that makes them feel secure and you're not yanking or pulling, it's gonna stop them from pulling you. You wouldn't pick your dog up by the neck. Absolutely Right? Not. You would never Absolutely do that. So why are, you, why are you pulling it? I mean, those are akin to a noose. That's basically That's what right. some of them are. Capital punishment. Right, and they're essentially scaring your pets. This this uh, wraps around your pet, goes underneath its arms, and it gives it that firm hug. That's how you wanna move your pet from A to B. You don't wanna be yanking it all over the place, and you won't. Um, I have these in a couple of different uh, sizes, and I have great colors. So it comes in black, comes in blue, comes in orange, it comes in pink and it comes in red. Um, this will work on dogs that are from smaller dogs, 20, 25 up, pounds. Right, the small up to up 25 to pounds. Up to 150 pounds. That's how strong this leash is. Um, it teaches your dog to do things the right way. It's the right way to lead your dog. You know, a, do a dog shouldn't be dragged, it should be led. And that's really what we talk about when we, um, you know, when we talk about our pets. Um, you will love it. And you can see the different size dogs that we're utilizing here. I'm gonna come over here. So I can hang out with Amelia. Hi, baby. And, so and who do you have this here? This is Sadie. Okay, Sadie's about a 40-pound dog. <laughs> and, and the idea is, you know, if you have a dog that pulls, you want to be able to control that dog, not only for their own safety and comfort, but for yours as well, because you don't want your arm yanked out. You don't want any strain on your own back, right? Yeah. But just remember, we don't want anything here. This isn't going to help them uh, save their trachea and their spinal column is in here. Everything is in here. When a dog gets in a fight, what do they do? They go for the throat. Yep. Okay, that's because that's the most vulnerable part on your dog. So we want to transfer that back and put the pressure back here. We don't want anything on their nose, on their face, like some harnesses are and other leashes because that's just annoying to them. And honestly, that can cause as much injury as the other harness, the other uh, leashes that you're pulling by the Look throat. at how calm your, the, the dog is, too. Right, and this you is see? an energetic dog. Yeah. So see, you know, all you're doing when you have a no-pull leash is you just stand firm with the dog if they start to pull. And think about also, even if you don't have a dog that pulls, what happens if your dog sees a squirrel? If your dog sees another dog and wants to take off? 
He may not be normally a dog that pulls, but there are instances that you can't control. Oh, yeah. So we want to make sure we're not causing them any harm. This is made in the USA. It's got the science and experience to back up how it works. It's effective, and pets respond to it. Yeah. And it's guilt-free leash because you feel comfortable. Your dog is at ease. And there are even times when, think about, if you see something that you think might be a danger to your pet, what's your reaction? Right. You jerk you them, them, right? Yep. Yep. So you, even if you have the best-behaved dog there is, there are instances that can come up, and it takes one time that you can cause damage. You can crush, oh, yeah. you can crush their esophagus you or crack rip them away or wear away their fur. You know, you, you know when you see dogs and they <clears throat> they just got that that ring around their neck. It's from being pulled left and right. Don't do that. This is such a better. It's a it's a more humane way to take care of your pet. <clears throat> you know, it's, as we said, I love how Dawn put it to me when I talked to her this morning. She said it's more like giving your pet a hug than giving it your is. dog dog a yank, and your dog won't be frightened. It'll be more under control because it'll feel secure. It won't feel like it's being dragged somewhere, you know, to, to its end. It'll be like, okay, this is all right. I feel safe. I feel protected. That's, the, you know, we're the, they're, pe they're pack animals. You know, they have that comfort when they're with their owner, but they want they don't want to be frightened. And, and if you see how that supports underneath the uh, the middle of the this dog. This is the strongest that's part of the dog. Yep. The girth of the dog and right behind the front legs, that is where they have the most strength in terms of protection from their organs. It feels like you're hugging her. When you hug your dog, this is how you hug them. You don't grab them around the throat to greet them. And so when you're using a regular leash and you're pulling, you are potentially creating a very bad problem. You know, there's so much in here that is fragile and so sensitive. We just want to make sure we're not putting anything around the nose because that's frustrating and irritating. And a lot of dogs have the short snout. They can't even wear those. Right. So this transfers this energy back here where it's nice and safe. And look, Sadie is so comfortable. She's yeah. perfectly at ease. She's not freaking if out. She she's sees not shaking. Something, nope. If nope. she sees something and she goes to take off, I don't have to worry that she's going to get hurt right. by pulling around this very fragile area. So remember, uh, you just need to decide how big is your dog. These go from about 25 up to 150 pounds, so they come in the uh, small and the large. So you can figure out if your dog is, is 80 to 100 pounds or more, probably would want the large one. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it's less than that, then you can go the smaller uh, the smaller uh, chain. Realistically, it, you know, it, it's... Uh, They'd work on either, and it's it's really just kind of like the size of or the length of the chain or the actual tether. Right, they're, uh, they're tether. six and seven foot, and right. they're, they're lightweight, so they're comfortable, but you can tell they're substantial. You can tell these are strong. You feel comfortable when you're using them. Your yeah. dog's comfortable, and your dog is safe. So it's a guilt-free way to walk your dog, keep them out of harm's way, and protect them because it takes one time, one jerk, one pull, that you can crush that trachea, crack a vertebrae. So many things can go wrong, and Ugh. it's actually a very common injury in pets. And these are so durable and so strong, as we said before, so you don't have to worry about your pet getting away. You can use these when you travel. They're ideal for that. If you take your, do uh, wa your wa dogs on their daily walks, you know you're going to feel secure, and you know you're not going to be hurting them. Black, blue, orange, pink, or red, small or large is all you need to know when you order them. They're free shipping today, and they're on FlexPay. Uh, Dawn, I know you're not going anywhere. I'm because not. we've got... Don't we have Tropiclane? Tropiclane. We got Tropiclane. Want to see your dogs brush their own teeth? It's fun. It yeah. is the best. And you get rid of the stinky breath. Before we do that, we want to remind everyone.